Monster 283-pound alligator gar caught in Texas could set two fishing records. Massive alligator gar is caught in Texas by Kentucky angler. See photos of the prehistoric-looking fish. An angler and a professional guide may have broken two fishing records after they reeled in a massive alligator gar. Art Weston, a Kentucky resident, went to East Texas to catch the alligator gar with the help of an expert guide and fisherman, Captain Kirk Kirkland. Kirkland is a full-time fisherman and alligator gar guide. He can be found on the water 250 days out of the year, he told Fox News Digital. On September 2, Weston joined Captain Kirkland on his boat, the Garship Enterprise, and went out to Lake San Rayburn in the hope of catching a 130-pound fish. It's one of the species that people travel from every country in the world to fish for and we have the best population here in the Trinity River, Kirkland said. The two men were fishing with a six-pound line and needed a place that offered a sandy bottom with minimal snags, which is why Lake Sam Rayburn was the perfect choice, Weston told Fox News Digital. The drawback of this area was that there would be fewer fish, Weston said. I was willing to take that trade-off to see if we could get records, he said. Weston and Kirkland set up two reels with cut bait and placed them in their rod holders before flipping the bait runners. Then, all that was left to do was wait for a pull. The anglers successfully reeled in two gars after setting up, but things started to slow down before they caught their record-breaking treasure. All of a sudden, one of the reels started to scream, the fish just grabbed the bait and absolutely just took off in a straight line, Weston recalled. Non-stop for two hours and forty-five minutes. I remember yelling, oh my god, that's a monster. It's pretty exhausting to catch fish like that, Kirkland noted. He kept the boat right beside the fish as Weston held constant pressure on the line. Both men knew they were dealing with something large, but it wasn't until the two-hour and twenty-minute mark that they realized just how massive it really was. I said, Kirk, she is coming up. And he increased the speed a bit, left the wheel, and was ready to land her when she surfaced, Weston said.